even though we got a couple inches of rain we were well below what we needed here to fill the pond and Michigan and at least this area we're uh, short of what water should be right now rainfall anyway the other end of the pond should be completely underwater not with green grasses this time of year and along the banks you can see where the water line should be that's where it is now from the water up to where you see the edging of darker soil and the bushes so we're way down in what this pond needs as far as water is concerned but we'll forget about the water for now I can't do anything about that I do want to tell you I uh, thank you if you've been around for the full series on the dark fishing spider the six spotted fishing spider and this family Hipposaridae uh, the nursery web weavers for me it's been a wonderful time putting together these 14 episodes that comes to a conclusion with this one to make a two-hour documentary it would never fly on YouTube so decided to break it down into segments or episodes it's been a great time we're gonna review what we've done over the past 14 episodes as quick as I can the next series is going to take you out to Florida and I'll be showing you some awesome spiders I found out there and filmed so thanks for watching have yourself a great day take care now Meanwhile, uh oh, Papa Spider's uh, been minding the nursery up here, but um, now he's got his eyes on Mama down below. And I think Mama's got her eyes on him too, maybe. And the fish, she's pulled her feet out of the water so she's not feeling I don't think the fish below there oh here we go oh mama is going after oh, holy moly mama's going after daddy for dinner 
Must be an easier catch than that fish down there. Like I said before, if I haven't anyway, the black widow gets a bad rap. Because the female rarely eats her mate. But this spider, this spider should have had a name similar to that. Much more likely for this spider, this female, to take out the male in this species than the black widows. Wow, that's a cool spider. Glad we found her. Gonna see if I can lift the rock here. Oh. You see her? Good sized spider. And there's the girl. Pretty good size uh, fishing spider. This would be the dark fishing spider. And this would be a female, I believe. Two weeks, three weeks of the 90 degree temperatures may have uh, played a toll in the spider populations, for now anyway. Um, I haven't seen many spider webs out here in the woods, a few sheet web spiders, but not the spiders I'm looking for. So right now, my fishing spider and the other two remain merely illusions memories in the mind oh well maybe we'll get luckier as the afternoon goes on not very good luck on the spiders today but there's other beautiful things to be seen and enjoyed
Hmm, snake meets snake. This is interesting. Bob the Spider Hunter here. Sometimes you can go into an, an outhouse and find sometimes some spiders. In particular, sometimes the dark fishing spider likes to come and hide out in outhouses. For whatever reasons, I can only guess. I don't think it's the air. <laughs> it doesn't smell good in there. But I got a hunch the foul air draws flies and flies are good eating for spiders. So let's go inside. I'll show you what we saw in here. And I'm going to try to catch your bring home for some up close and personal filming. So let's go inside. Right here on the wall on our hunt. This is a dark fishing spider. This is a good sized spider. This is the first fishing spider I have seen all season. I was hoping to see one and now finally I get to see one. There we go. Got the girl in there. You gotta love the bluish green iridescent uh, colors on these damselflies when the uh, sun hits them just right. Here's the brown colored one. I took uh, my dark fishing spider out. Her name's Brownie. <laughs> Not very creative, but it worked. Um, because she's so sweet, that's why maybe, I don't know. Anyway, she's probably on year th end of three, maybe even four. Um, been winterizing with me and it's springtime now and I think uh, she's at least three, maybe more. I believe her eyesight's just about gone. She can't see things anymore, can't see me wiggling my little finger. She still knows it's me by my warm breath I breathe on her. But uh, I'm afraid she's at on her last, last legs here. So I got her out on a nice darkened warm stump to enjoy a little sunshine. And uh, I'll give you a little glimpse of her. She's uh, sitting next to an orange that I put out for a bird. Now we don't want any birds showing up uh, for the orange and seeing the spider looks even better. So I'll be taking her back in here shortly, but I'll give you a little look why she's out doing a little sunbathing and um, just enjoying sitting here. I put about three large flies in her container, but those scared her. So when you can't see anymore, things are buzzing around you. It's kind of scary. Anyway, here's Brownie. Just me, girl. 
I'm going to miss this nice spider when she's gone. She doesn't have much strength left either. Kind of reminds me of a senior citizen. Sight going. Movement going. Hard to get around. And now I believe almost totally blind. She doesn't make any silk webbing anymore. No drag threads when she travels. So definitely on her last legs, all eight of them. When she's gone, she'll be dearly missed. Um, I had a lot of fun with this spider. And I think the, the interaction, well, probably more on my part was interesting. I don't know how much she felt on her part it was interesting, but we did have some uh, touchy-feely <laughs> moments anyway. And she'd been well cared for. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say about this girl, except she's been fun to have. Hey, thanks for watching. Have yourself a great day. Take care now.